zind 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 Uh, well, that's what it's all about for me these days is zines. This is issue eight, Waiting to Cross Hair. And it came out a week ago. And it is all about Emancipation Day. I don't know if you can see that one there. This front cover, the cover girl. Yeah. Struggle sister in the struggle out there protesting and, you know, representing, repping. Africa Liberation Day, Emancipation Day, and reparations. Yeah, you can just about see Africa people and reparations. You know, and reparations is such an important topic in this time of Black Lives Matter because you know without reparations, do Black Lives really matter? Can Black Lives can our lives be repaired? Um, is it just a slogan? Is it just a mission statement? Or is it something that we really want to see a change in the imbalance of the world? So Reparations Day and Emancipation Day, I should say, Emancipation Day, 1st of August, every single year, we have a family gets together around the world and this is our expression of it, which happened here in Brixton, and we caught it in this zine. And this edition eight is so important to me because it's the, my first collaboration uh, edition. Uh, two other colleagues, photographers, um, put together, we all combined our, our, our images to present this beautiful edition. There's the back, let me show you the back. Windrush Square. You know, named after the Empire Windrush, the ship that brought some of our people here in the 1940s. Yeah. Black people's, it's seen as black people's entrance into the UK, although we've been here before. But this is when the mass, masses of us were invited here from the Caribbean on the Empire Windrush. So this square in Brixton is in honour of that black community. Yeah. So anyway, the zine is out. It is 32 pages. And I'm going to give you a quick flick through. As I said, it's put together with myself and two other fellow photographers. There's Carl White Gemini. Snaps Photography. Big up to you, my brother. You know, soldier that I always see on the streets. Whenever I'm doing, whenever there's an event, you know, you see certain heads Stuck behind the camera, he's one of the brothers I always see. And uh, Tabo J. Simi is a, a brother I've known for about 20, 20 plus years. You know, we've been working in the struggle, working on the streets, various projects, you know, various places. So when I see these brothers out on the street <laughs> taking their snaps, I always want to do some work with them. And this is the, the culmination of that, you know, it's issue eight. Of waiting to cross here so yeah so we divided up the pages I've got seven pages we all got seven pages to show our uh, reparations our emancipation day from our angle from our perspective this is my first spread well no actually it's not there's my editorial page inside back cover but yeah it's all about protest enough is enough it's all about liberation it's all about emancipation. It's all about Black Lives Matter because do Black Lives Matter? We'll see. You know, the process is all good. You know, we're feeling it, we're seeing it, we're living it, and we have been living it. And it's good to see the rest of the world jumping on this. This evil, yeah, this imbalance that has to be righted. Here you go. So we've got the drums that we use so often to start our ceremonies and our, our, our events to invoke the ancestors, yeah? So these are my pages, the first couple of pages are my pages, yeah? These ones all shot on the M50, would you believe? Beautiful. 
you know, just capturing some of the colour and some of the events and spectacle and happenings, happenstances of that event on the 1st of August. Yeah, and that's my final spread. I like to be in close, tight proximity with the, cloud, the crowd, you know, to catch that energy, try and capture it. Yeah, so the next page, here we go. This is Carl White, Gemini Photography, as I said. And the next three spreads are his images, you know. Emancipation Day from his perspective. Stop the Maangamazi, the Maangamizi, yeah. That's the genocide. That is us stolen away from Mama Africa and taken away from our culture, yeah. So we have to stop this. And reparations and the emancipation is all tied up in stopping the Amanga Mazi. Yeah. So these are Gemini snaps. Snaps. Yeah. And he's got his little breakdown of you know the images here. Yeah. This is issue eight. Waiting to cross here, which just came out a week ago actually. And I've been selling them on the street. They're going very well, very well. So, you know, limited edition, as always, you can get your copy. You know what to do. Just so message me in the comments. If you already have my email, you can email me and we can get you a copy of this very exclusive and limited edition issue eight of our zine. Yeah. The music aspect is very important part of the liberation struggle of the freedom, justice and equality that we are seeking after for so long, yeah? Here we go. The Forever Family crew made an appearance for the first time. And the media is, has, the mainstream media has really been trying to damage up the, the, the image of our brothers and sisters who are really just crying for justice you know, and using the music and using imagery and the fist of freedom. So, you know, we're saying Black Lives Matter. The mainstream don't like the sound of that. Black Lives Matter, you know. It's not really something to be afraid of, Black Lives Matter. It's not something that, you know, we should be hiding from or using as an excuse to not get on this you know, balancing of the world. So here we have the third photographer right here, my brother, Tabo. Uh, very experienced brother. Has always, you know, he's always in a, got images in a, in a mainstream. They always, you know, use his images. That's the level he's at, working in mainstream and corporate and all that kind of stuff. So it was good to have him on board in the zine. So this is his account of Emancipation Day now. So there is some cross, crossover in the images, obviously, because we're shooting the same event, but seeing it from different viewpoints. So yeah, I'm just flicking through so you can have a look, because I never really show you. I flick through really fast and never really show you what the content of the zines are. We have Brother Leo here and, um, and Sister Esther, two of the main conveners of the Emancipation Day that we had in Brixton. Yeah. And these are, as I said, Tarbo's images. So he's looking at it from his perspective. I like this high vantage point image looking down on the procession as it went through the street. Uh, uh -huh. And with Tarbo's images, he didn't want no um, commentary running alongside the images. For him, the images do the talking. So we've all got our own little style, as you can see. But this is something to keep, to hold and to keep. You know, this is history in the making. And there's my little write up, little breakdown to close off this edition. And it's all good. And there's Tubbo's image on the back as well. So yeah, turned out pretty good, a nice little Beautiful edition 
Um, I'm getting really good feedback. I've actually put it in a few shops as well. And I've got good few feedback from the shops as well. So things are really picking up on the zine, on the zine tip, you know. So as I said, you know, that's really what I wanted to come on and talk to you about, show you the zine. I haven't been around because I've been busy on the streets with this. Trust me, everywhere where I go, people want their copy of the zine. To own a little piece of history. Our history. My history. And it's all good and I'm encouraging you to join in on this. So message me at the bottom. We can get you a copy if you want a copy. They're going for £10 including, well not included, but postage and packaging is extra. So if you're in the UK, that comes to 12.50. Elsewhere, we're looking at 15, 16 uh, UK pounds. So there it is. It's all good. I'm happy with it. And we're moving on. I've already got some ideas for the next uh, issue. Didn't think I was going to be a publisher this year, but it seems like I'm turning into a publisher. Maybe I need to call it the multiple media publisher. <laughs> the life and times of a multiple media publisher. It's funny what COVID has done to us and the directions that it has made us move in now. But you've got to embrace it. Embrace it or die. So it go. Anyway, onwards and upwards. More soon. God willing. Soon. Peace. <laughs> Sprap, sprap up. <laughs>